So your dad has nothing to do with the stabbing of my dad? Positive. <laughs> Trust me, I want to help in any way I can, Roxy. You've stuck by my side, and I like you a lot. That's sweet. But Taylor's mine. Wow, I can't leave him hanging. Oh my god. No, you guys, okay. So this is where I don't do the diamond choice because my boyfriend just got free. He's like, he's, he's, he's like around. You can just kiss people. Oh, <laughs> hello everyone. This is Markles and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing to life Riverdale. This is season two, episode six. So we have just a few episodes left of this season. So we've got to get this mystery solved and find out what the hell exactly is going on in this town. Mr. Lodge was stabbed. So I need to figure out what the hell is going on right now. <laughs> All right, everyone, if you're not having a good day, I really hope this video cheers you up. And yeah, without further ado, here we go. Oh, if you guys like this video before the end of it, please be sure to like. And if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. That'd be awesome. Okay, everyone, here we go. Mr. Lodge got stabbed? Like, with a prison shank? Actually, he broke out of prison. <gasps> Say what? Yeah, he has a long-standing feud with Mr. Milano. He broke out of prison to protect us, but now he's on the run. Whoa! Who else knows about this? I thought we were the only ones. Frankie knows too. What? Smithers told me he was there when Daddy got stabbed. You think Frankie stabbed Mr. Lodge? She wouldn't lie about something like that, would she? Yeah, and I don't want to be next. Don't say that, Veronica. Just calm down. Calm down? How can I calm down when Roxy and I could be on the same hit list? Oh, I refuse to be stabbed. <laughs> oh, let's just get her to chill for right now. Betty's right. Just chill. We have no idea if it's related to the Milanos yet. Yeah, people get stabbed all the time for no good reason. Not in Riverdale. Maybe we should get our facts straight before we jump to conclusions. <gasps> hey guys, Ugh, get him out of here. Oh my God, awkward. Uh, uh. I have great news. Hey Frankie, uh, speak of the devil. My dad just won the election. I thought he was going to. Damn it, he's now officially the mayor of Riverdale. <laughs> Congratulations. Great. Now we have a mayor who also stabs people. <gasps> Whoa, Veronica. Take that back. Excuse me? We just found out that our father was stabbed and uh, Veronica said you were there. What the hell? I've never seen Mr. Lodge in my life. Would Frankie lie to us? All of us? Maybe I should ask him in private. Why are you spreading rumors about me? I am not. Milano's behind it. End of story. Would it kill you to be civil? Oh my god. Um, your accusations stop here. You know what? Let's just get some more evidence first. Let's see some evidence! Oh my god. I am not a nerd. I don't have any. Yet. Exactly. So lay off Frankie. I had nothing to do with it. Honestly, I had no idea. Is he going to be okay, though? Ugh. I was just going to the hospital to find out. Coming, Roxy? Can I come, too? Maybe I can help. Thanks, Frankie. Um, keep your distance. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, the hospital. Let's see, Lodgy in. <gasps> Emergency. Oh, wait, should I change? They, like, never give me clothes anymore now, I feel like. Um, oh. oh whatever. You know what? I don't like this stuff. I feel like I wore that dress before. 
I did. I just know I did. Um, you know what? We'll just buy this freaking sweater thing. And... What the hell? Okay, well, no. The skirt is hideous with it. You know what? Ugh. Okay. So this skirt and this shirt, potentially. Oh, damn it. Um, what about that shirt? So that shirt's nice. It could go with the red. Yeah. No, stop it. Okay, so I'll do the red, well, the pink, actually. Oh, the, the red skirt, I meant. So that looks fine. I mean, that even looks fine, too. But I'm going to go with that. Um, and then, do we have any heels? Are you serious? How freaking kind of you. Okay, now we should be wearing the blue shirt, but it's okay to have some accents of different colors and stuff, right? I like those. We'll stick with those. Actually, those go with the skirt. That's, the bow is cute, but I've wore it too much. Okay, sorry guys, I'm so sorry. Okay. I guess Veronica's already inside. Maybe I shouldn't have come. She refuses to be in the same room with me. And who knows what other lies she's telling about me. Don't worry about her. She's just scared. If you say so. So, your dad has nothing to do with my dad stabbing? Unless there really is something you're not telling me. No way. But to be perfectly honest, I'm not very close with my dad. He just doesn't have time for me. Oh, well, obviously it bothers him. I don't know my dad well either. Yeah. I don't know my dad well either. I actually just met him last year, and then he went to jail. That's rough, Roxy. I'm sorry. Don't be. He knows he did some terrible things. So your dad has nothing to do with the stabbing of my dad? Positive. <laughs> Trust me, I want to help in any way I can, Roxy. You've stuck by my side, and I like you a lot. That's sweet. But Taylor's mine. Wow, I can't leave him hanging. Oh my god. No, you guys, okay. So this is where I don't do the diamond choice because I have, my boyfriend just got free. He's like, he's, he's, he's like around. You can just kiss people. I was under the impression that I was flirting and trying to get behind enemy lines to see if we could find Taylor, and we did. I don't want to kiss him. He's probably working for his dad, and I'll be doing it for nothing. Ugh. Okay, but also, these are Diamond Choice stories, so I'm gonna do it. I'm so sorry, everyone. I don't want to cheat on Taylor. Oh my god, game. Fine. I'll tell Frankie I feel the same. And kiss. If it makes me break up with Taylor, I'm gonna snap. I like you a lot, too. Oh, God, Taylor, don't show up, please. <gasps> Crazy accusations were flying during my first year in Riverdale, too. It's easier to deal with them when you've got someone you can trust. Thanks, Roxy. That means a lot. Weird question. Is it wrong to kiss outside a hospital? If it's wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so bad every time they touch. I just, it's like a dagger in my heart. I'm so sorry, Taylor. <laughs> and everyone watching, if you were mad, I'm so sorry. And I promise, Taylor is our first priority. Who's there? It's just Roxy, Dad. And the Milano boy. Who? Who let a Milano in here? I did. And you might not want to exert yourself. You just got stabbed, didn't you? Damn right, by one of the Milano's goons, no doubt. I don't believe you, oh my god. I'm just glad you survived. Well, definitely. Let's see what we get. Reputation review. What do we get? Charmer again, okay. That's good. Oh, jammies, which I like. Oh, Okay, well, oh, I want that dress. I ain't paying $7.90 a week. I'm sorry, I just can't. Okay, so the shirt. I can switch the shirt with that one. 
I'm lucky to be breathing. I mean, you're not my favorite person, but uh, you're still my dad. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Lodge, I really don't know, don't think my father would do this to you. Wake up, kid! If you think I'm the first person your dad's put on a hit list! Uh, oh, Daddy, I'm getting a nurse. I really should defend Frankie. He needs backup. Oh my god. Well, it seems like they want me to, so it's really not like I should just leave him in the ditch. I mean, he could be working for his dad, and even if he's not, we've just made a really close friend that we've had some kisses with. <laughs> Weird. Shut up! Frankie's innocent! Does that look like the face of evil to you? <laughs> yes, it does. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you just tell me to shut up? I'm your father! Frankie's my friend, and not as bad as you make him out to be! Thanks, Roxy. Sometimes I think we might be more than friends, too. No, you're not. Oh, my God. Stop it. All right, all right, Lord. Take me now. Fine. Maybe the kid isn't his father. Like his father. But I'm warning you, Milano. As a mayor, it's bad news. And until I pay off or die, you and Veronica will be in danger. <gasps> Oh, sketchy nurse, that's freaking... Oh my god, I know her. She's from Hot Target. <gasps> She's an assassin. All right, everyone out. Visiting hours are over. In fact, criminal patients aren't permitted visitors at all. So why are you even here, silly people? But he's my dad. Shoo, don't make me call security. I know her. She's going to kill him. Daddy. <laughs> You're trickier than my usual prey. Milano sends his regards. No! What? We were just there. Ugh. Okay, everyone. Well, that was episode six of Riverdale. I really hope you guys liked that episode. I liked it. It was quite good. The season's a lot different than the first one, but you need those twists and turns to kind of keep things interesting and never know what's going to happen, right? So I I'm really liking it. If you guys are, please be sure to like the video. And if you're new here or you just haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And maybe share this video with your friends. We'll have some more friends on the channel to have fun with. All right, everyone, be sure to comment in the comment section if you have anything to say at all. Okay, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!